Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look into the estimation of uh, weekly, monthly, or yearly uh, betas. So uh, we are going to focus on this stats by command, right? Uh, just to give you an overview of this, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to calculate uh, betas uh, using uh, obviously some regression uh, but uh, uh, we can calculate simple betas uh, very easily using regression command but uh, the issue is that how do we calculate the monthly weekly or yearly beta of different firms uh, okay so we have this example data set that uh, we would provide the link uh, to it in the description of this video uh, so what we have over here is we have, uh, let me show you the data. Uh, we have uh, the date variable. Uh, the data starts from uh, 3rd of January and uh, 2011 and ends uh, till the end of 2022. We have different symbols, their prices, and then we have S&P 500 index. The symbols that we have in our data are... Uh, and these are different stocks so let me quickly show you the stocks that we have uh, tap the symbol <clears throat> okay so we have uh, apple general electric gm and microsoft so these are four stocks that we have in our um, in our data set okay so so obviously if we were to uh, create uh, generate betas monthly weekly or yearly then we would need uh, to have a stock return. We currently have prices, the adjusted closing prices, and we would need to have the market return. So the way we generate it, we have already uh, done videos on it uh, by symbol. So for each symbol, we are going to generate, uh, we are going to repeat this command, uh, this part of the command. And uh, so first we, within each symbol, we uh, sort the data using date generate stock return which would be equal to the log of current price divided by the previous price the same goes to the uh, S&P 500 so let me quickly execute these commands so you would see we have four stocks so that's why uh, the there would be four missing values because each stock would have the first value as missing right when we generate the returns so these so so these are the returns that we have now what we are going to do is uh, let me show you how you can uh, access this stats by if, if you were to use the menus you would click on statistics uh, come over here to others then we have this uh, collect statistics for command across a list so this is the stats by command and uh, although we are not going to use this uh, this dialog box but just to show you uh, how you can access this command from the dialog box okay so what we are going to do is we start the command by the by the name of the command which is stats by then because we have different symbols so we are going to repeat these uh, regressions for each symbol we wouldn't want uh, 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 to overlap right so we want these commands to be repeated for each symbol so, so we have different cross sections you can have different uh, cross sections right uh, then we have this option over here which says that we want to save the results in a different file and the file name is uh, firm underscore beta so this is the saving option and within saving option we have another option if the if the, the firm beta file is already created then what strata would do is it would uh, replace it so after colon we would have our uh, regression command whatever the command is right so in this case what i am doing is i am regressing stock returns on the market returns uh, so let me execute this command uh, it would be quick to uh, generate but nothing would happen in this window what would happen is that it would generate the uh, a new file by the name of from beta right so let me show you that file so this is the file that had been generated and these are the uh, uh these are the betas so we have the uh, the beta and the constant okay 
so uh, let me close this file now you can also uh, have this file generated uh, within uh, this data set right uh, I mean instead of saving a new file what you can do is let me copy this command over here and instead of having this save option what I can do is I can use clear option and what clear would do let let me instead of using the clear op option uh, just run this command okay so if I execute this command so what I have done is just uh, removed the saving uh, option so if I execute this command what you would see it is saying that there is a data in the memory and uh, what I need what, what's happening here is that the stats by command is going to generate betas it is going to re remove all this data and just keep those betas and the constant over here but the issue it is facing is that it cannot remove these variables this current data set without uh, the user explicitly telling it so what we are going to tell stata explicitly is that clear any data in the memory and then you can uh, you know execute the command okay so what had happened is that we have the same uh, for uh, betas and we have these symbols over here their betas and then their uh, their constant terms but instead of having a new file being generated we have all these um, variables over here so uh, I would get my original data back so uh, we can move forward we can also name the variable so uh, by default what stats by would do is it would generate the beta and the constant but what and it would give its own uh, name to those variables but th those names aren't more uh, you know uh, clear let me show you the names so these were the names that it generated the variable names obviously they did not look good what we would want is you want to give uh, our own uh, names to these variables uh, so this is how it can be done we write the name then equal to then we give the uh, the thing that we want it to store in this variable so in this case it would be the beta of uh, the independent uh, the independent variable snp500 return and then we want uh, the constant to be saved as CONS constant. Now the rest of the command remains same and if I execute this command it would again generate uh, this firm betas uh, file and now instead of having that weird name it would have these names that we had given to it. Okay. We have already explained the clear option. Uh, now we can have uh, not just the betas and the standard, uh, the uh, the constant, but we can also have standard errors. We can have uh, the R square, the adjusted R square, uh, the number of observations, and again, if you want to give them uh, unique uh, names like we did over here, then you would have to give all of these uh, values a name, right? Okay, so if I execute this command uh, again, this uh, uh, file would be created. Uh, so we have our beta, the constant, the standard error of the beta, standard error of the constant, R square, adjusted R square, and we have number of observations over here. Okay, so moving back to our uh, topic, uh, this is just a calculation of betas for a single form. So what we have done we had a data of 2011 to, to uh, 22 uh, so it just calculated a single beta uh, for the whole data set of a single firm but what we would want is uh, an yearly or monthly or weekly beta so first we would start with the yearly betas for that we would have to generate a variable called year uh, that would contain the uh, that would extract the year from the date uh, so let me show you so this is 2011 and what it is doing is it is extracting year from the date then we need to again run the stats by command the only changes change that we are going to do is uh, by symbol 
uh, and year so for each symbol and each year we are going to regress this is also an addition but uh, whether you write underscore beta or not it doesn't matter uh, so it is similar to uh, writing uh, this command right uh, so uh, so so what we are doing is for each symbol each year we want a regression to be executed it uh, okay so uh, it would obviously generate a new file the file name is firm year underscore beta and let me show you the file the firm year beta uh, so we have uh, all these 12 betas for this apple and then we have 12 for General Electric and Gen 12 for GM and so on and so forth. So we have a beta for each firm uh, for each year. Then we would want monthly betas. So for that we would need a variable that will store the month of the year. For that we are going to use the MOFT function. So what it would do is it would extract uh, the month of the year from the date variable. Uh, this might look weird it doesn't show anything for the human eye but for stata it is fine so it has assigned a number to a month but for a human eye we would just have to format this month variable uh, uh, right so it looks like this so this is the first month of the year 2011 then we have the fifth month of 2015 and so and so forth so we have just uh, to make it more human readable we have formatted the month so then the task is similar to this one but instead of year we are going to use by symbol month what it means is that execute the regression for each symbol each month it is going to take uh, some time to execute this command so it had been executed and the file name that we gave was uh from month beta so from uh, betas for each month okay so let me show you the file this is from monthly beta and this is how it would look like but again uh, the month uh, won't be formatted if you want it to format uh, you can again use that uh, command right i'm just going to execute it so this had been formatted okay so lastly we are going to calculate weekly betas uh, and for weekly betas we again need a week variable so we are going to generate a week variable and what it would have it would extract the week of the year from the date variable uh, again it had been generated but it doesn't look uh, quite human readable so we are going to format this week variable uh, so this is the first week of 2011 and the second week and third week and so on and so forth right uh, then the command is similar just replace week instead of month or year uh, so it would start executing so it took some time to execute and the file that name that I gave it to was from week beta and uh, this is the file Uh, so these are the betas again if you were to format uh, these weeks into human readable uh, week format then you would use this command uh, that I show you lastly you can also use descriptive statistics uh, so for example if you want to summarize the price variable if you were to generate the mean standard deviation number of observations for each firm and instead of saving it to a, another file let me use the clear option because this is the last command and it doesn't matter if I destroy this data so I'm going to summarize the price variable so stats by uh, okay so we have these four variables mean <coughs> the standard deviation and the observation uh, for each firm if you wanted uh, for each year then we would we could have done uh, by symbol year Thanks for watching this video.